So let's solve the second example. We are going to solve the differential equation y plus into brackets 2y cubed times e to the power y squared minus x times y prime equals 0. So we can resolve this differential equation as let's say we have y plus 2y cubed times e to the power y squared minus x all times dy dx equals 0. So basically we are going to multiply each term by dx to do away with the fraction. So we multiply each term by dx and then by dx. So we have dx cancelling out dx and then this goes to 0 the right hand side. So we have y dx plus 2y cube times e to the power y square minus x dy equals 0. Now we have the function m x m of x y to be equal to y and then we have the function n of x y to be equal to 2y cube e to the power y square minus x. So next let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y. Now if we differentiate this function with respect to y then you have 1. Again we find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Now this becomes a constant so when you differentiate this with respect to x you have 0 and then when you differentiate x with respect to x you have 1. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So you have nx equals negative 1. Now, since my is not equal to nx, it means that the differential equation, the differential equation given is non-exact. Okay, it is non-exact. So we need to transform this differential equation into an exact differential equation. So we are going to look out for the integrating factor. Now, when you look at this differential equation, it looks like we have a lot of y terms. So let's straight away consider case two. So case two, we have my minus nx over, over negative m, and that is equal to, for this case, we are supposed to obtain a function of only y okay so my is 1 so we have 1 minus nx is negative 1 and then negative m so negative and then we have m to be y so that becomes 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 over negative y and you realize that this is a function this is a function of y alone this is a function of y alone therefore we have the integrating factor mu of y to be equal to e to the power the integral of xi of y dy and that is equal to e to the power the integral of negative 2 over y dy okay so we pull out negative 2 which is a constant and then we have integral of 1 over y dy. Now, if we integrate 1 over y with respect to y, then we have ln of y, and then which finally, which finally becomes e to the power ln of y to the power negative 2, and then 1 over y squared. 1 over y squared. Now, from properties, so from properties we have, let's say if we have e to the power ln of x, this is equal to x, therefore e to the power ln of 1 over y square is equal to 1 over y square, okay? Therefore, we have the integrating factor mu of y to be equal to 1 over y square. So we have mu of y to be equal to 1 over y squared. 
now let's multiply the differential equation by mu of y and then the non-exact differential equation becomes an exact differential equation so we have 1 over y square multiplying the differential equation that is y dx plus so from this expression 2y cube e to the power y square minus x or dy equals 0 times 1 over y square so we are going to multiply this across so y cancels one of the y's here so we are left with 1 over y dx plus y square cancels out two y's here so we are going to obtain 2y e to the power y square minus x over y square dy equals 0. Finally, we can represent this differential equation as y to the power negative 1 dx y to the power negative 1 dx plus 2y e to the power y square minus x y to the power negative 2 dy equals 0. So we have m of x y our new m of x y to be y to the power negative one and then we have our new n of x y also to be equal to two y times e to the power y square minus x times y to the power negative two now let's find m y and then n x so m y is equal to we are going to differentiate with respect to y and so we have negative 1 times y to the power we are going to reduce the exponent by 1 so negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 therefore we have this to be negative 1 over y square negative 1 over y square now also for nx we have nx equals so we are going to differentiate with respect to x so this goes to 0 and then we are left with negative for this term negative y to the power negative 2 and then we differentiate x with respect to x and that is 1 so finally this becomes negative 1 over y square this is nx my now since this time we have my to be equal to nx it means the differential equation is now exact the de is exact so if it is exact then we are going to integrate this function m of xy with respect to x and then n of xy with respect to y and then we merge the two functions so we have the integral of m of x y dx that is equal to integral of we have m of x y to be y to the power negative 1 dx so we integrate with respect to x and then we are going to have y to the power negative 1 that is a constant here and then we have x so finally this becomes x over y and then for the integral of n of x y with respect to y that is equal to we have the integral of 2y e to the power y square minus x times y to the power negative 2 or dy we are integrating with respect to y so here we are going to have 2y times we are going to differentiate this and that appears at the denominator so derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y and then times e to the power y square minus we have x times we are integrating with respect to y so we have y 
we are going to increase the exponent by 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 divided by the total exponent, negative 1. So this becomes 2 cancels, sorry, 2y cancels out 2y. And then we are left with e to the power y square minus this cancels out this so it becomes plus x over y now let's merge the two functions so we have f of x y to be equal to we are going to write each term only once so we have x over y plus e to the power y square and that is equal to c and then finally we have the general solution to the differential equation to be x over y plus e to the power y square equals c so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye